Yeah, I sent her flowers, but you know, you do when people get bereaved, don't you? Hold on a minute, doll. Who you calling weak? Maybe it's time you just get back in the kitchen and made the dinner for the man, you know? Wind your neck in, Stevie boy. Look, doll, just calm down a bit, calm down. Hey, hold on a minute, who the f gave me this script? This is, this is the wrong script. Right, just let me get my jacket sorted. Right, okay, I'm, I'm good, let's go. Scotland's only for Scotland. And others. Not the English. That's really all I've got to say in the matter. So this St George's Day, I'd like to wish you all a very happy eat. Fergus is a bit of a tube. Um, you know, I, he used to be my boss and he was he was a bit of a tube then. He's, the term should actually be white 50 year old Karens. Are you nuts? I can't be seen to support the English. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to jump ship across there myself in order to save my bacon. Oh, bacon, I could do with a bacon roll. Even though Murrow is a little shit and I wanted the 600k back, I'm still not going to dob him in. Not to the polis, you know. But before I respond, let me also take the opportunity to thank Judith. I, I first came across Judith when I attended this conference about five or six years ago. And I, I think I've come across her every year since, if you know what I mean. Um, she was a force of nature then, and, and I'd like to think that she could continue to be a force of nature for many of um, the, the delegates here today. Today visiting some volunteers, or uh, as I like to call them, mugs. But I, I can't agree that the NHS is a broken, it's um, it's just not working. Uh, the, the, oh, just hold on a minute, Rona. I, it's, it's not a question of uh, failing to prepare, it's a question of, you know, doing proper planning and, you know what they say, isn't it what they say, you know, fail to, fail, fail, fail to plan, fail to prepare and you'll succeed. Um, well, first of all, Helen, you, you know, you, you got to help yourself a wee bit dull, you know, lose a few pounds, you know, take some weight off that hip because uh, it's going to last a wee bit longer if you take some weight off it and, and then we can spin it out a bit longer because, I mean, three years is nothing, come on, what do you think we've been dead for the last three years, we've not done anything, so so three years is nothing, just wind back, so if you had to wait three or four years before, you're going to have to still wait another three or four years, so that's going to make it six or seven years, that sounds reasonable to me. Untenable, Rona. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. Does that mean he has to wear like incontinence pants? Uh, uh, is this because he can't get a break so he can't even go for a pee? Oh my god, I didn't realise it was that bad. I thought they could go, at least get to the toilet. Um, I mean, uh, you've got to work these guys hard though because let's face it, they're slackers. Bankruptcy, don't be ridiculous. Why would you think we were facing bankruptcy? That's the last thing we're facing. It's possibly fraud. Um, or something of more serious nature. Pay Colin B his legal fees. From what? I mean, we're facing bankruptcy here. Colin's message is keep 1.5 alive. Do you like that? I just came up with that. I thought it was quite good. I don't really give a toss about Scotland because I've got to look out for myself and it's not looking like I'm going to get a, another term. So, of course, I just said next time you're over, Erdy, you know, um, in, in the UK, come up to Scotland and uh, I'll get your bank and roll before we go down the mosque. I'm great. I'm trying to get us into the EU because we don't want to be ruled by the English. We want to be ruled uh, by a completely unelected body um, in, in the EU who will tell us what to do. I want to um, make sure that we maximise the use of fossil fuels to gain as much money and cash resources that we can from oil and gas. Um, obviously this goes against that we shit Harvey's um, green policies, but who cares? That wee English rat Rishi has jumped in at the 11th hour and spoiled our deposit return scheme. So what are we going to do now with all these bottles and cans and things I've been saving up for ages? I mean, this is, this is my strategy, this is my financial strategy in ruins now. I'm not sure I'm going to take much financial advice from the party whose former Chancellor spent two years destroying the economy of the UK, backstabbed his Prime Minister, then oversaw the defeat of the duly elected by the members, Liz Truss and Quasi Carten, to then take the reins and continue his work at destroying the economy of the country as it now stands. In Katie, 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 you've really let me down. I'm really disappointed in you, doll. I give you every opportunity to take this and, and run with it and, and win because we're winners here and and you've you've failed. You've failed miserably. What am I going to do now? I mean, you've stolen my thunder as well. There's me just being on the cover of Time magazine. Hey, are you recording this? Is that camera on? Uh, I don't want to be recorded here. This is a private conversation between me and Katie. There are deep questions about the government's competence 
and a police investigation. Well, how have you let this happen? Right, hold on there, doll. This didn't happen on my watch. I'm picking up the pieces here. It's a great honour for you to have me as First Minister. And I didn't sign up for this because I've just realised every First Minister of the SNP that's not a First Minister has been arrested. I just don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm kind of... I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of frightened. I'm way too pretty to go to jail. No, and look at me. I'm gorgeous. I'm way too pretty for jail. I've even still got all my own teeth. I've lived my whole life as a minority in this country. And let me make it clear to you, if they come after your rights, they're not coming after my rights. If they come after you, they're not coming after me. Because my rights do exist in some kind of vacuum. My rights are completely independent of yours. If you look at, for example, the progress we've made in relation to reducing literacy and numeracy. As you can see, I'm live here in Gaza. I'm sorry, Dundee. Um, to be fair, it's hard to tell the difference. And if that's not tantamount to ethnic cleansing by uh, Nathan Yahoo's government, I don't know what is. We're seeing the, the Nathan Yahoo government go to town on them. And and I've got to condemn that in the strongest possible manner. What's the new Brexit. policy? Look, policy's a strong word. And to be fair, I'm not quite sure that I have any idea what the hell I'm doing here. But I'm going to keep plugging on, on the course of referendum and... and Standing by the general election. Right, come on, Bob. I keep up. Canteen shots in two minutes, and I need that bacon roll. It's not something I can get at home, is it? Oh shit! I'm here in Ardler, which is in Dundee, um, and we've been knocking on doors. And I'm told, I'm told by my local guide and translator that um, the people here are saying that they they really don't trust Keir Starmer. I I'm not quite sure because I can't make out a thing they're saying. They talk. They talk really weird. Um, I thought Fife was bad, but this is just taking the biscuit. I'm not even sure this is still considered Scotland here. I've been told by Nicola that under no no terms, no no uncertain terms whatsoever, have I to even consider thinking about suspending her. And if I do, I'm going to find myself in a whole world of hurt. I'd like to say that people have the right to protest uh, unequivocally. Yeah, yeah, without doubt. Um as long as they're protesting for the SNP and for climate... No, not for. Against climate change? Anyway, don't be a denier. Um, Nicola, sorry, Nip, Nicola Sturgeon has been arrested by the police and is being grilled by them as we speak. Obviously, I can't say much as it's an ongoing police investigation and I don't want to incriminate anything, myself at all by saying anything outrageous. Indeed, this is indeed a dark, dark day for democracy. And I'm primarily thinking of myself and my party here when I say that, you know, Johnson is to blame for much of this and takes the heat off um, our previous health secretary and even me when I was health secretary. Murrell's a proven winner. I mean, they survived, uh, sorry, uh, supported uh, Nicola for many years and um Apart from that small incident with the patio, but we soon sorted that out. Um, no, uh, Peter's a Peter's a great guy. Peter, who? I, I, I can't place him. I don't know who you mean. Um, does he work for me? You know, um, there's, there's loads of people work for me, but I just can't place that that guy at all. Um, I'm party leader, you know, um, and first minister. The obvious is because uh, we free clown Kate was in charge, and and let's face it, she wasn't the smartest. She wasn't the sharpest tool in the box, was she? Well, first of all, I'd like to pay tribute to Master Bates and the campaigners who have fought tirelessly for justice, despite us completely ignoring this over the last few years, including myself when I was Justice Minister of Scotland. Of course, it shouldn't have taken a TV uh, documentary to, to bring this to light, but then again, if it hadn't, um, we would just have kept it buried because that's what government does. And we're not interested in, in going over our mistakes and making things right. I'm an ass like a as followers of Rocky in Scotland and across the world mark the beginning of Ramalama Ding Dong. Well, Laura, after 13 years of the Tories riding us like a donkey and um, we nippy stealing all... Um, no. Um, I think I've done really well to bring down our A&E &E waiting times to, to seven years. Do you fancy a kebab, Laura? Foremost, I find Rishi Sunak one of the most repugnant people to ever sit in the House of Commons. I think I have to admire Sunak in one respect, in that he's doing exactly the same as me. And, and while I normally don't give a toss for him, 
he's bringing down England just as quickly as I'm bringing down Scotland because fancy a big no, Kevin. We're having sport week for women and girls to to prove their equality to, to men. Well, they're not really equal to men because they're women, you know. But um, I don't want to sound misogynist, but there is a biological difference there. More, um, get off your butt, get out of the kitchen, you know, stop... Well, don't get out of the kitchen totally. You still need to make dinner for me when I get home. doll. I'm not going to exactly tell you where the phone was, but the, the what I can say is the rumours that I lent it to my mother-in-law are completely unfounded, and um, I would never do that with a with a proper uh, ministerial phone. It, maybe we could uh, maybe we could team up with someone else and offer the games, you know, as a joint host. Maybe somebody like France. What, what do you mean, France isn't there in the Commonwealth? Uh, but, but I've been to Canada, they speak French there. Surely the strange ginger boy last week, I think he might be an alien. I'm not quite sure. The aliens really exist. Certainly 2023 has been a bit of an anus. I'm going to bleat on a little bit here as if I give a shit about you. But don't get me wrong, I really don't care. Because my party's doing everything it possibly can. To make sure this is going to be a particularly bad year coming up. The wife is doing my nutting. She is ripping my knitting. Um, she will only shut up about it. The in-laws have put up a tent in the front room. The kids are running up and down the stairs. Singing from the river to the sea. Good. Oh, hold on. I think the bacon might be ready. Indeed. Um, I'm just surprised that we daddy had the, the, the wherewithal and the nuance about him to go into that industry in the first place. You know, it's one of Scotland's uh, top three earners. But apart from that, we're working hard to, to, to keep our position in Europe as a top, top for drug deaths. Um, it's something that I'm proud that we've managed to achieve and maintain. I've created this thing called the Wee Fanny Bank. For football fans, um, I'm not quite sure what it's about. I think it basically I give loads of money to them um, and they don't pay any interest on it. I think that's called money laundering. I'm not going to get re-elected. It's not something that's going to happen. Ah, aye. I kept my WhatsApp messages because, you know what, I kind of, I, I think you guys laugh at me sometimes because you think I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. But um, on this occasion, I think I've been proven right because... Let's be honest here, sleek it little cow was going to throw me under the bus, but who's having a last laugh now? I'm throwing her under the bus. It was her fault. No mine. She's the one that made the order that said delete all messages so you don't have any incriminating evidence on your phone. Well, I've got incriminating evidence for her. The wife has been bashing her gums again and tells me that women are underrepresented in elected positions and that they should come forward. If you know a woman that can he shut up and is always bleating on about how bad things are? Ask her to sign up for political office and then see who cares. During that time, we've delivered things like the baby box, full of sponsored shite that nobody needs. We provided nursing care, whether you wanted it or not. Although I, I had a wee issue with uh, nursing care, but let's not discuss that. We provided free education to the great unwashed student body, making them actually thicker than they were before they started. And we've made you pay for free prescriptions by taxing you more than you would pay in England. Doesn't it surprise me about Mountain or Johnson? To be quite frank, Jace, watch out for that wee Nyaf Sweeney as well. He'll try and tell you how to do your job. Of course, every one of these plonkers in the public now think they're public health experts. Reasons, I've, I've just no idea why they wouldn't take Is it because your skin, is it because the party's financially a basket case? Uh I well, I okay, you're right. We're, we're skint. We've, we've nothing left. Uh, we're destitute. We don't have two couples to rub uh, between each other. We're, we're, we're done. Done. Exposure. The corner shop marketing and shopkeepers can lead to children purchasing and consuming such things as single cigarettes, vapes, gas, and of course, the Saturday special, poke of crisps. And a tube of glue. Look, with the advent of social media, it's getting harder and harder for me to hide my toxic behaviour and, quite frankly, my hate preaching. You'll remember my famous, some say infamous, white speech. People like Andrew Tate and other fine Muslims have taken this to extremes, and their and my definition of masculinity is quite the same. I think if we work together, 
we can ensure that toxic behaviours like this can be driven underground and not exposed by the media or even the social media. We'll just keep it for the privacy of the home. Women and girls, of course, will continue to be at the receiving end. But that way, everybody benefits, and we don't need to talk about it or report it. Well, to be fair, I'm surprised we haven't all been arrested uh, the way things are going at the moment, because uh, everything's a mess. It's just a mess. Are you dense, man? How many times do I need to tell you I'm no resigning? You are all fooled, your tools. Oh, <laughs> Buds will more. be fighting it. I'll fight it. I'll win it. Out the park. Well, Jackie boy, it's unworkable and morally repugnant. I looked that up in the dictionary and I thought that sounded great, so I'll be using it quite a lot. Queen Doogie will indulge me and allow me to deflect by pointing out that while Nicola, praise be to Allah, not only made an accurate description of Boris by calling him a fucking clown. Oh, I thought David, in fact, let's give him his full title, Lord Cameron of Chipping Norton, Shagger of Pigs. I'm looking for a job because... Let's face it, I'm not getting re-elected. Great news, I've just been informed that I'm way, way ahead of J.K. Rowling in the popularity stakes. Apparently I've been reported uh, way more times than she has uh, followers stirring up hate. An officer, and we did give Ross there. Um, I'd like to also extend my condolences to the family of Mr. Rawlinson, who was brutally killed in, in Elgin, and uh, her heartfelt thoughts go out to him and his family and indeed to the bus driving community of which I, I'm also uh, part of that community because I come from a long line of bus drivers in fact my uncle uh, still drives a bus between Islamabad and uh, Karachi uh, I've, I've no done a jacket and, uh, or uncle knee jacket as we call him um, so I, I know what it's like to be a bus driver um and well I don't because I don't drive a bus but you, you know what I mean um, I'm trying to extend sympathy here and pretend I've got empathy and what well, was the point of hand doogie I've absolutely no idea what you're talking about oh integrity yeah yeah we've none of that no look we doogie Ross just wind your neck in lad who the hell do you think you are to start casting aspersions on people that work for me Aren't you the guy that tried to sneak £30,000 away from paying tax? And that would have meant that there was, you know, less tax available for me to fund Hamas and to aid Palestine. Just you, just, just, just you take it easy, Doogie Ross. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Who is writing this pish? I think we need to get that wee gingerbread back. She was quite hot.